Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Welcome back guys. First of all, a big thanks to all of you who keep adding likes, commenting and sharing the video. I really, really appreciate you guys. Keep doing that, it helped the channel a lot. So let's get started. We will start with the EURUSD. We are looking at the weekly time frame. The start of the week did look like we had uh, some Euro strengths, especially after the press conference that uh, Lagarde had. So we saw the Euro moving to the upside to then see everything going back during friday where we had a very very strong move to the downside so if we check the daily time frame we see that there was this huge move to the upside on thursday after the uh, ecb press conference and things was looking good for the bulls actually there was this inverted head and shoulder and the market start pushing to the upside broke the neckline but if you remember or if you want to go back to my last Sunday's uh, overview and watch what I said about this level up here, we were talking about on the four hour time frame mostly, we were talking about potential continuation toward monthly pivot point area to then start watching for bearish evidence and a reversal. And that exactly what we've, what we've got here. As you see here, this uh, evening star formation here, followed by uh, oops sorry followed by this huge bearish candle was a big sign that there is a potential reversal here so what what do we have right now if we go back to the daily time frame you see guys that after this move up here and uh, on friday we got followed by this huge candle with a break below previous low i still think this market will continue lower i think we start thinking about targeting monthly S1 down here back toward these areas. So what I'm watching for next week, a little bit of a correction here, something like this to happen back here once again, hopefully a slow correction going back up toward this level to then look for some kind of a break to the downside. Okay, so all in all, keep an eye on this structure here as first this would be the first level I would I will be watching for a retest of this broken structure to then start looking for potential continuation now the one thing I did that I don't like about this there is so much void here in the price and this could mean a bigger correction might come which means maybe back toward all the way up here toward this area so if we put a fib retracement uh, here uh, and we measure that we see that the first level of interest going to be at around this area here 38.2 and the 618 is all the way up here which i don't like i would like to see the market if doing a bigger correction maybe giving us something in between here between the 50 and the 618 also is a good level but it all depends on how the bulls will play this if it goes slowly like this next week i'm very interested to start shorting already at around the 38.2 for further downside on this market so that's it about the euro uh, sterling also there was an attempt to push higher but as you see a huge rejection here and then after that they kept failing to move higher and um lately especially on friday we've got this break below previous structure so both these swing slows swing lows here got broken and if we go down to the four hour time frame you see it clearly here how we had a break of this trend line retest failure to break higher and then boom back down with a break below this previous structure so i'm watching for the same here on the sterling the same as the euro give it time let it do a correction do not start shorting already on monday or something like that let it go let it correct at least back to what toward the uh, 1.3740 area to then start looking for that continuation i mean you need to have a bigger correction because if you start here where would you put your stop loss huh? okay we still have this problem the stop loss is not safe uh, anywhere here it need to be above, uh, above structure so the, the higher the correction we get the better and uh, let's say we start somewhere down here 
we start somewhere down here we could still place our stop loss up there and uh, manage maybe to get a one-to-one -one or something like that if we go above these these structures so i would say the higher the correction the better that will give us a better stop loss placement and we would maybe target this level down here and that will give you at least a one-to-one -one. so uh, what is this fibonacci retracement uh, telling us here if this would be the last low we don't know yet so the market might open and keep pushing lower who knows but let's let's say that this is the last low and we could measure here uh, so anything between the 50 and the 618 again is a good area so i would um, use this here the 50 and the 618 area as my kill zone i want to see my uh, bearish evidence the double tops the the head and shoulders to happen somewhere inside this area to then try and short this market that will give us a much better risk to reward and a much better place to stop loss scenario number two is a correction back toward 38.2 and this previously broken structure but this scenario i want to see the market going slowly making some kind of a bearish flag then I might trade uh, I might trade the break of the flag okay if it goes like this very strongly to 38.2 I'm a little bit uh, suspicious because most of the time you will get one more leg to the downside attempt to push higher bull trap to then start moving lower okay those are the scenarios I'm watching on the sterling USD Jap is still in between uh, this area here. We mentioned this level to be a, a good support and it did act as a good support for now. And uh, the 114.6065 uh, uh, area is the resistance and nothing has changed there. So keep playing this range for now. Sell high, buy low, wait for a break out of this. Aussie USD still above the uh, structure level that um, got broken here lately as you see so we've got um, on the daily time frame we've got a break retest and then continuation it is still uh, potentially bullish but I'm start seeing a bearish divergence on the RSI daily time frame we've got a huge bearish divergence on the four hour time frame as well as you see here and uh, the market is still trading uh, above this structure as far as that is the case this uh, would still be trouble for the bears but as soon as you start seeing break below the uh, horizontal support and below the trend line that will be a big dip to the downside so as first it, you could watch this level for a potential bullish attempt to push higher but if they fail to break above previous high that would be a signal that we might start seeing this market moving to the downside okay usd cat uh, nice bounce to the upside to then uh, get uh, stuck inside a range so if we go to the daily time frame we see there was a nice push here nice bullish engulfing candle down here let me make this a little bit bigger so we had this uh, bullish engulfing candle the market start to move higher um, there was an attempt to push back here it ended up to be a retest and it did push back down but what's very important here that this candle never broke below previous low we've got instead a higher low and on thursday was a little bit bearish to then get a nice bullish candle on friday so if we check the four hour time frame we still do not have much uh, to work with more than this range now we have this range to play uh, we might get a bottom here we might get a reversal and a continuation to the upside for that to happen we need to have a bit of a weaker stock market a bit of a weaker uh, oil prices if that would be the case then we might see a reversal and uh, for that to be a confirmed reversal i want to see a break above this previous high here uh, if that would be the case then we look for a retest and then a continuation move to the upside usd chief also a nice um, retest of this key structure level i mentioned that in my last week's overview so as for now this is still a bearish market with lower lows and lower highs but at the moment and i told you already last week that since since this market did not test this level i'm still bearish 
and I want to short it but as for now and since we did reach this area here I'm interested to see what will happen it might be the level to watch for a reversal it is still a bearish structure but you might start look for some kind of a reversal bigger reversal whoops uh, that was not the idea the idea was to measure this whole leg here and um, yeah we see here that the market did break below 618 as well but what's most important for me is structure so for next week i'm watching here i did like the way this candle uh, did um, push to the upside there was a clear bottom here on four hour time frame the structure is still the same it is still not changed absolutely uh, it is very easy to see that this is still a bearish structure if you put it like this if you put your trend line like this however you put it it is still a bearish structure but for next week if i'm start uh, i start to see some kind of a bullish flag i'm actually willing to trade that bullish flag uh, in anticipation for continuation just because this reversal start happening at a key structure level now a break below that well that would mean we are going one more leg to the downside to around this area down here so we need to watch and see if no break then there is a continuation to the upside on this market in my opinion gold now gold uh, did a nice attempt to hold the line here to push higher but they failed uh, during uh, uh, on the lower time frame now if we check the daily time frame you see here there was a break below but the bulls did push the price back above support that is a, a good sign but the bad sign is this here there was no higher high they failed to make a new high which is not a good thing to happen if we check here on the four hour time frame you see this triple top and the neckline got broken now this could be profit taking it was the end of the week the end of the day and um, intraday traders that short this market somewhere here somewhere here i think it was a good level for them to take some profit monthly pivot point previous structure here it is a good level to take some profit so this could be a dead cat bounce and if we check this whole thing here we've had this going like this making lower high equal highs and then a break below so for next week there will be a correction that's uh, almost sure and uh, i will be watching this area here this level is my uh, area of interest if they keep pushing like this without a break above this that would be level to watch for me to try and go short on uh, gold or if they start moving lower without any correction to the upside we need to see a break below monthly pivot point for that to happen as well and uh, yeah that was it for this week guys thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye